BYD Dolphin, is it that good? Would you believe me if I told you that every 10th car in Norway was a Chinese car? Well, I will answer that question later on in this video. So, when I got back from my wonderful vacation in the United States of America, I was uh, cruising on the wonder of the seas in the Caribbean, it was a wonderful vacation. But I had uh, this car waiting for me back in Norway and uh, for me at this Norwegian dealership a brand new BYD or build your dream if you would. Yes, it's a Chinese car. The car is very nice to drive and handles the bad Norwegian roads just fine. It's even, even having an autopilot and from what I have driven it, it's very very nice to drive. It almost feels better than my 2018 Tesla Model X, but almost, 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 it's not as good, just almost, <laughs> okay. The car sometimes want to drive you off the car, off the road, uh, it uh, sometimes loses the marking in the road and whatever, uh, but from my 600 kilometers of driving it, I haven't had any phantom driving like I'm having with the Tesla Model X 2018 model. And that's an issue I'm almost having every time I'm driving on autopilot with the Tesla. So, how is it that I have bought a Chinese car when I'm driving an American Tesla and I was driving a small Italian Fiat 500. To put that question out of the way right away, it was an old car and I felt it had done its mission. Uh, you know uh, when you are driving an old car you're just waiting for the next thing to go wrong and so I and that was the feeling I had about the Fiat 500. An amazing fun car to drive. And I learned to change oil, air filters, uh, door handles and yes I learned a lot from it. Uh, I'm a guy with 10 thumbs and uh, just to learn how to fix a motor was very fun and the noise from the combustion engine was unbearable especially when I was driving a Tesla for a family car. So I traded it in for a BYD Dolphin and I am very very happy with my decision. Here I have the new LFP battery, Android CarPlay and many many other features. It's a joy, joy to drive and the range doesn't disappoint me either. It has 428 kilometers of VLTP range. I have a consumption of about 13.6, 13.9 watt hour per kilometer. Uh, so yes, it hasn't disappointed me so far. And uh, now Siri interferes with the video making. So, why a Chinese car? Well, I was out for a new brand, uh, a one that I haven't heard that much from before. Uh, I'm a relatively young guy of uh, 34, 35 years, I think. Yes, it is. <laughs> so, uh, I have been driving uh, Tesla, Mitsubishi, Skoda, BMW, and now the BYD or build your dream and it was only released in Norway in 2021 and by 2023 it was Norway's 18th most sold car manufacturer in the country and to answer the question I opened this video with yes as of July 2024 every 10th new car in Norway was from China but there is one thing that annoys me with the BYD and that is the uh, 
uh, traffic sign awareness system. Fortunately, you can turn the system off. Uh, the reason it annoys me is when you are just one to two kilometers over the speed limit, it annoys you with a uh, small sound. Fortunately, as mentioned before, you can turn that technology off. So, if you have liked this video, please press like and hit that subscribe button down below. It would really help me out a lot. Thank you and goodbye.